going to start off will, will be some of the labels that you see in your booklets that uh, name the various different parts on the uh, on, on the drill press. Right, so this is a bench drill press, um, and let's start from the bottom and work our way up. I don't think the label is in there. Let's just get that up there so that I can see it too. Um, so we start with the uh, with the base right at the very bottom, and the base is normally bolted to a bench, and there's a pillar or a column that everything is attached to. Right, so working our way up, the first thing that you get to is a table, and all the drilling normally happens on the table. Right, the table is clamped to the column or the pillar over here. If you want to lift or lower the table, you need to loosen the clamp and then shift the table down or up to the appropriate height and then re-clamp it again by turning that lever. Now right at the top we've got this uh, power head over here and you'll see that there's a motor just there. Right? And the motor, oh, if I tip this right over, can our video can see what's going on there. You'll see that we've got a motor spindle here on the shaft. It turns a V-belt pulley, which moves a V-belt, which turns another pulley, which turns a what we call a spindle. Right? So that whole thing turning there that you can see turning here is called the spindle. It goes all the way through. And at the end of the spindle is a chuck. Right, so the chuck is the thing that clamps our drill bit. Now, we've pretty much gone through the most of the labels. There's an on and off switch in the front and a control lever on the side over there that lowers and raises the, the chuck as it turns. Okay, so I'm going to use this, or show you how to use it back to front from my view so you can see what's going on here. But the first thing we need to know um, are a few of the safety rules. Whenever we work with any machinery which turns, what have we got to use? What do we have to wear? Let's hear yes. yes. Safety, safety yeah. goggles, safety glasses, protective eyewear, whatever you like to call them, all the same thing. Right, so that's one of the safety rules. Another one of the safety rules is that we never ever remove, and I had a piece just here, we never ever remove the swath that gets cut off by hand. Right, the swath, particularly this metal swath or the steel swath, is razor sharp. Right, so we don't touch that by hand, we brush it off if we have to. Another thing is that we always clamp our work in a vise of some sort or possibly even to the table. Like you never drill through the table. Like you can see some people have made that mistake before. So if you think that you need to drill all the way through and you might drill into the table, we normally use a board of some sort so that we'd rather drill into the board. Okay? So your work is always clamped, even if you clamp it with a G-clamp to the table. Right? And the reason for that is quite often when you just start to break through the bottom of the hole with your drill bit, you snag the work and it can, oopsie, sorry, and it can start spinning. And if it's spinning and you're holding it with your fingers, then we end up with this little fingers and liquidizer blade kind of action going on. Right, so you can understand that that can be really dangerous. It'll chop your fingers up. Right, so we won't use this board. Let's have a look at this chuck and how we put the uh, drill bit in. Now the drill bit that you guys are going to be needing is a four millimeter drill bit. And you need to drill four millimeters from an outside edge if you want to get your keychain swivel through um, your, your, your key fob. Right, but I'm not going to drill four millimeters from an outside edge. I'm going to say possibly I'm drilling an eye hole or something like that for this four millimeter drill. I've marked where I want to drill, so it's going to go through there. So let's have a look at putting the drill bit into the chuck. You'll see that part of the the drill bit has, is smooth near the end, right? That's called a parallel shank. And what we do is we pop that into the middle of those three jaws that are coming down uh, at the bottom of the uh, chuck just there. At the end of this chain, you'll find a chuck key. So here's another major don't, right? We never ever leave the chuck key in the chuck. Right? If we leave the chuck key in the chuck and we turn it on, it will come flying out. All right? 
Luckily, this one has got a safety spring pin there, so if you do forget it behind, it'll pop itself out. I don't know if you saw that. It just shoots itself out. So that's quite neat there. All right, so whenever you tighten this, you try and tighten it so that the long side of the lever is pushed upwards. All right, same applies when you loosen it. And the reason for that is that you want these two gears, you have a pinion and a ring gear there, and you want them to actually mesh tightly together. So that's why you turn, so you force them to mesh tightly together. Right, let's have a look at clamping this now. We'll pop the work into the table vise or the machine vise. You'll see that there are little shoulders that your work can sit on. Right, and we'll pop them on there. Um, I didn't check to see that the electricity was on. Let's just see quickly. No, stand by one second. do the trick. Okay, so before we turn on, we make sure everything is clear, nothing is going to do any damage. Right, I've got my glasses on, I have. Right, so I'm going to start turning that down, make sure it goes exactly where I want it to go. And just drill slowly and gently. You do want to generate swarp. You must cut swarp. You can't just hold it still in one place. If you keep it still in one place and you push too gently, it will overheat the drill bit, particularly if you're cutting into uh, uh, steel of some sort. So you need to be generating that swarf. Remember, you're not touching it with your hand. Um, and when you go through the bottom surface, you'll feel it start to change pressure on the control lever. So you just slacken off a little bit of pressure so you don't pull the work up like a corkscrew going through the bottom of the work. All right, so let's just uh, recap really quickly on a few safety things, some of the do's. What about the chuck key? Never leave the chuck key in the chuck. We never leave the chuck key in the chuck. Very good, so that's a don't actually, yeah? Here's a do for you. What must you definitely do? Wear safety goggles. Wear safety goggles. What about another do using this piece of equipment? Always have something underneath. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah, have something underneath, but rather always clamp the work whether you clamp it directly to the table with a g-clamp or clamp it and hold it in a, um, a, a table vice or a machine vice are there any other do's or don'ts that we've forgotten none here's one for you once we're done what do we definitely do what are these yeah we must clean up absolutely when we're done we clean up not only the drill, but also the table around it. Are you all happy? Are there any questions? What size drill bit are you guys going to be using for your, your keychain swivels? Four millimeter. Four millimeter, well done. That's the one that's in there right now. Question? Swarf, S-W-A-R-F. Good question. Right, we never brush it off our fingers. Well, thank you very much.